So you had to load up some themes easily enough. Uh, themes are just ways of customizing the look of your, your uh, space max. And to do that, you just double space, hit load, uh, dash theme, and space max already comes with a number of themes to use. None of these are my favorite themes to use here. So you probably want to add some extra themes. And there's a couple of places you can get themes. Um, the easiest one I know to do is in your package install section. You can just put in theme and it'll show you some different themes here. So these are all different themes to add. Now, the theme I currently use is called uh, Groovebox theme. And maybe, yeah, we'll try this Groovebox theme. I'll try check out Groovebox Darker later, but just Groovebox theme, you in, it install, and it's going to install it for you. Then you have to load it, and so load theme, and then here's those new themes, and I like to use this one here. It's gonna ask you to run it as a Lisp code, say yes, save this for future sessions, hit yes again, and this is what it looks like. And I like this look a whole stinking lot. It looks really nice. Um, these, this I think is, uh, I changed the bold, so I'll go ahead and change it to like a different color at some point, but I like the way this looks and you can change your themes. Now, the problem sometimes is you want this theme to load it up every time you start your uh, Space Max. To do that, add Groovebox here. And you'll find the section that says themes and here's your, themes it'll start with. Now the first one loaded here will be the one it starts with. But here's the problem. For some reason the Groovebox theme does not load into Space Max when you start it up. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So no matter how you type this, Groovebox, I forget exactly the name, Groovebox um, Dark Harder. Let's double check that. Yeah, uh, Groovebox Dark Hard. So you're supposed to just be able to load it up and then um, save this, done that. So I'm gonna restart it and uh, do a hard restart. And it's installing it, but watch. You come down here and it says, hey, uh, you can't do this, so it falls back to this theme here instead. Yada, yada, yada. I don't know why it does that. So you fix that by going back into your dot space max and I'm just going to delete that and scroll down to your user config section right here. And I typically add this at the bottom. Oops, Let's, I'll add this at the bottom. And then you just put in load theme. Then you gotta add, oops, add that. So save it, and then do a hard restart. Oops, I messed something up there. I messed something up. All right, I gotta go back and figure this, fix this really quick. Let me go in and check to see what I messed up. Oh, that's what I did. So, and when this is done loading, it should load not this dark theme, but the new theme. And it should be, do it right here in a second. There you go, awesome. So that's how I fixed it. You just, um, kind of a, another another helpful tip for, for people who are getting started with all this is, be very careful where you put stuff. I put it behind this parentheses. I put it down here. Don't, that messes things up. So make sure you keep everything inside this. All right, all right, good. Uh, that's just one way to change themes in uh, Space Max and it makes it pretty easy. Uh, I would recommend the Doom themes. In fact, I'll just show you Doom 1 really quick. I like Doom 1. Oh, air, huh? 
Well, sometimes you try to install themes and they don't want to install. That's just the nature of stuff. So anyways, if you can get the Doom to install, I would recommend, oh, they did install, good. So Doom 1 is my favorite. Of the Doom themes, yeah. Um. Okay, it looks like uh, something happened there. This this looks a whole lot like Space Max. Okay, yeah, man. Okay, so apparently it's just Space Max. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.